perspective is a little bit different, but why not? Okay, you guys, so I got my cool blue light blocking glasses and um, I'm gonna just pull up really dirty by the way um, <laughs> I have to clean them but I'm just gonna pull up my notes real quick and then let's get started I'm really excited today because today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the intro to investing and I got right now my notes here on my phone because I actually created the notes and did the research yesterday for this video and um, after you know I went on like a walk with a friend of mine and she had absolutely no idea about investing whatsoever and it seemed like it was so you know complex that she didn't even want to kind of comprehend or fathom how you can get into investing and investing is something that if you want to build wealth you need to learn about investing you cannot even if you have a corporate job right now or you have a regular job you know um, where you make a salary a salary an hourly wage you are consistently kind of like trading type of money and like Warren Buffett said and I'm gonna totally like um, butcher his quote but you have to figure out how you can create wealth or money or income while you're sleeping and investing is one of the most important things like every person that is financially free quote unquote whatever financially free whatever the the sum is that you have in your mind right now and um, every person that is financially free will um, or does invest you know in some form of another you know if it's real estate investing if it's stock investing private equity business um startup investing whatever it might be but for the sake of this video i really wanted to give you kind of more like a mindset intro to investing okay and what you kind of have to prepare yourself for also mentally before you even start looking into um you know stock investing for this video right now which is something that most people can start with fairly easy because you can really start with just five dollars a month you know set it aside i know this might now sound a lot right now but um trust me just the sake of you doing this will give you already and start building up your self-confidence so you that you're going to increase it you're going to start then investing with 50 or 100 dollars and so on whereas in real estate for instance you need a bigger sum to start investing for instance in real estate so for the sake of this video as well i wanted to really kind of um my my goal or my passion is to get you to a place of where you really feel like this is something that i can do you know no matter if you know my parents didn't teach me the school didn't teach me the college didn't teach me you know maybe unless you studied you know finance um so i can really do this right and so for me too i didn't study any of this in school my dad was totally against <laughs> stock investing um you know my mom was kind of like oh investing but she didn't never knew what to do or how to do it and she didn't think she was capable of doing it either so with the internet right now it's so awesome because we get so much information so let's get started this was a long intro but i hope you guys are still with me because i got some really cool things to share with you so number one you do not want to invest in a product or in a company um, of whose business you have no idea about. If you are not understanding how a product works, if you, for instance, want to invest your stocks, but let's say you know you want to invest your stocks into Coca-Cola, and this might be a great brand or a company with you know they have a great growth rate already over the last you know decade or two. But let's say if you're the kind of person who is um, convinced of the fact that, you know, you know how bad Coca-Cola is for you with, you know, the, all the sugar in the drink and whatever not, and you internally, you just feel like uh, this is not something, you know, you don't give it to your kids, you don't want to like take it yourself, you know, it's just bad for you, whatever it is, right? Then if you are, for instance, not in alignment with the kind of product and, um, you know you're not convinced of it then you shouldn't invest in it just because it might be a good investment that's what i wanted to say it's really important that you are understanding the product you really understand it you try it out yourself if you can you know for me for instance i'm one of the stocks i'm invested in is beyond meat um i love their um plant-based meat um you know what's it called <laughs> I love their plant-based meat um, substitutions, so to speak. Um, and, you know, I, I tried them out personally, all of their products, and, like, I'm just, like, a fan. And it was because, you know, for instance, for me, I believe in a more predominantly plant-based diet. But that's just me. That doesn't have to be you, you know? And there's no judgment in whatever, you know, your lifestyle is. But, you know, when it comes to investment, investing as well, you know, especially when you think about the stock market and the companies that are NASDAQ, just really think about, you know, what are kind of like some products also that you you know like and that you understand and number two so it does not matter if you invest five dollars fifty dollars five hundred thousand dollars or five million dollars the research work that you want to be doing 
prior to investing or buying a stock is the same because if you don't value the five dollars you're investing and you're not doing your work prior to it then you're probably also not going to do it for five million dollars or maybe you will but you will do it a little bit better but the point is that you want to feel very you know secure in your research you know that you've done and you want to really know that hey this is a company you i want to invest in so just really make sure to kind of take it seriously regardless of you know if you're investing five dollars or five million dollars and just at this note also please know i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a wealth expert per se or anything like that i'm just sharing with you what i've learned over the last seven years of investing or being a hobby investor as you say in the stock market so please 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 do your own research okay very important number three so you don't have to have studied economics or finance at an ivy league university just to invest um, that's like such you know oftentimes i think we have um and i had this as well i had this um perception that oh my gosh i did not study you know um finances and i should have probably have like a money manager you know in, invest my money you know that i saved up back then for my corporate job but you know if you're looking at the stats and the stats are open and out there you know online as well um, money managers keep underperforming the investment that they're making um, so they keep underperforming essentially the market so you just by kind of um, start educating yourself a little bit and by watching this video you're already like you know starting which is so awesome and I'm so excited for you and um, you're really starting to kind of develop this kind of mindset and the understanding of the knowledge so you are going to outperform the, the money managers out there anyways that have maybe an Ivy League degree or whatever not so you know that kind of thing is not important everyone can do it and the important thing is that you just want to really be learning the basic rules around you know the market around economics you want to be understanding of course a little bit of how it works the different wording when it comes to stocks but like I said I have other videos as well that are going to help you with it so at this stage be sure if you're liking this content show me by hitting that subscribe button and show me through like those like buttons leave me a comment if you have any questions and I do have other videos you know on some of the things that I'm talking about in this video um, or I will create them with any of your questions if you just leave them in the comments and so let's move on to the next number number four I think we're at number four yeah I think so number four I have my good notepad here oh another thing just on the previous point that's important as well is that you do study kind of like a little bit of human psychology and you know about you know mass behavior and stuff like that and you also which is really important and most investors are not thinking about that is that you're actually um, becoming more and more self-aware about maybe your own weakness weaknesses um, and fears and whatever it is because you know once you're self-aware as well you you will not make as many financial mistakes because you know how to keep yourself in check so that's something as well that's really important and I feel like not a lot of people who talk about investing in stocks or whatever not if they're experts or not experts are talking about how important it is to kind of develop and, and mold your mindset in a way right okay so number four um, you want to know of course how to read term sheets from companies and um, this is something as well I'm gonna create another video on, on you know just to keep this video kind of short um, you know and to the point but it is important you know that you know these kind of stuff and so p and L you know sheet and whatever it is and number five um, if an investment is too good to be true like so if you're seeing a lot of maybe like TikToks or Instagram um, talking about um, I don't know like this company is blowing up or that company is blowing up and you see the whole market already going towards it so if kind of like now an investment is too good to be true which also most of the time means now it's like way too pricey that you're investing in if already the whole market um, is flooding towards it then don't pretty much like you want to think about if you really want to be doing that you know and um, so if it's too good to be true it probably most of the time is at this stage so if you're hearing about it whatever you're hearing about it and again I'm not giving you any financial advice just so you know like whatever I'm saying here please also take it with a grain of salt do your own research which is important and you are capable and powerful of doing your own research I know you can do this so yeah just keep this in mind so I hope you like my five quick points right now in terms of like an intro mindset giving you um, an intro mindset introduction into stock investing um, and i talk to you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye